So, Richard, the American Religious Identification Survey is uh, probably the most comprehensive study of religious demographics in the United States. And it's interesting to note that this particular study that's um, just been run again mm -hmm. confirms that only 1.6% of the American population actually identifies as atheists. Um, but it's still a pretty big number. It, it is actually, when you consider how many people live in the United States, 1.6 is not a small percentage. But it's interesting to note that uh, Americans who are Mormon are only 1.4% of the population. Uh, wow. Jewish people are only 1.2% of the population. Uh, Muslims are only 0.6% of the population. So actually, um, the numbers are not um, non-significant. But the thing, this sort of harkens back to what we had been talking about uh, a couple weeks ago with the survey that was done in Ireland, right. with how much their atheist numbers have jumped. When you look at the people in the United States who actually claim no belief in God, or they, they claim no particular religion, um, uh, it actually is more like 18.4% of Americans have no affiliation and no stated belief uh, or stated... So it kind of would include they like don't believe anything. the agnostics yeah. and things like that. Right, nature. agnostics, or people who, in fact, are probably atheists, they're just sort of afraid of using the word mm -hmm. due to the stigma. Um, reports came out this, uh, this year, or I should say 2011 actually, where atheists were, in the survey, atheists were listed to be as trustworthy as rapists. Right. Or the KKK uh, was a more liked group uh, than atheists among the majority of Americans. Um, so, I mean, there's definitely a social stigma of, of being an atheist in uh, a country where 81, roughly 81% of the people proclaim some kind of belief in a god. Mm -hmm. um, That's still really high compared to, like, most European countries. Yeah, I don't think that most people would realize that there's more atheists than there are Mormons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know, uh, certainly um, I wouldn't. And, and you know, especially when you consider that what we've seen this year, that despite the fact that the Mormon Church claims 14 million members, only 5 million of those people are actually active members. So that sort of skews the numbers even further. But, um, kind of in a related uh, little piece that I found, uh, the University of Chicago reported on April 18th, mm -hmm. they just published a study called Belief About God Across Time and Countries. Uh, and they found that uh, belief in God is actually higher in older people, regardless of what country they live in. And um, across uh, the entire planet, um, on average, 43% uh, of people 68 and older believe that God exists, where across the planet, um, only 23% of people 27 and younger believe that God exists. Wow. That, that God definitely exists. So, um, now, the numbers are different in the United States, as you would expect. Right. Because we're one of the most religious countries in the world. But I actually think this is going to be uh, perhaps a little dark, but weirdly optimistic. Uh, the report said that 54% of Americans younger than 28 said they were certain of God's existence. So 54%, that would still be a majority of people younger than 28. Mm -hmm. um, but 66% uh, of people 68 and older said that they believe that God exists. Now this is interesting to me because the average lifespan in the United States currently is 78.1 years. Okay. So, in let's say roughly 10 years, when those people 68 or older are largely dead and gone as a demographic, right. the United States is going to look like a much different place, religiously speaking. If those numbers hold, and and that, and and those 68, mm -hmm. the people 68 or older are gone, and the present numbers of 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 belief and disbelief hold, the lobbying power of the Christian right in this country is going to be event. really eroded. And then think, <laughs> what will it look like 10 years after that? Well, you know, it's actually, there's actually something interesting about that, because I read an article, I don't have it here with us, but I just read an article that was discussing actually how um, more people basically opt in to the belief of 
very similar to this, opt into the belief of God as they get older. So, like, right. there was a study about... The study actually mentioned that as well. Yeah, as, as people get to, you know, closer to dying, they right. actually do start to maybe think maybe their, right. like, atheist or agnostic ways aren't good, and they, you know, a little bit of fear of death comes into play, and then you have people going to the religion in that sense. So mm -hmm. I, would, I would be curious to see more, like, in 60 years, what that trend of, of how many people, you know, closer to their, like, as they see death coming on the right. horizon, do do we still have people, you know, seeking that out, or do we have enough kind of hard atheists um, or hard non-believers the, these days? The Sh University of Chicago study actually noted that um, the findings suggest that it the, the belief in God is very much influenced by anticipation anticipation of your own mortality mm -hmm. um which is not really a great reason to say that something is true well, no. but but i mean it it makes sense i mean humans don't want to die we, so i mean as we have to face that reality we try to find a loophole yeah so uh, um and i'm not mocking people who are approaching death and are fearful of it mm -hmm. you know it, it's easy for us as younger men to Kind of, you know, laugh or mock the idea of whatever death, and just be cavalier about it. Right. But, but I do think it's interesting. Um, it the the tide seems to be turning. Education and and people having discussion and information being more widely available mm -hmm. is actually starting to turn the corner. I think, and and I think that we're um, gonna see something positive mm -hmm. uh, come from basically the erosion of the religious right in this country and people are going to have to actually start dealing with each other on non-religious terms because they're not going to be the majority anymore. I mean, it's actually, it's exciting to me in a way to think of what is the demographic of the country going to be like when I'm 40 in, you know, another nine years right so it, it's, it's really interesting to me so you know more as it develops yeah certainly see a lot of it outcasts out <laughs>